is staring at Goosen and Diego Corrales. He's hooked. Corrales, meanwhile, a big puncher who was hurt in the first fight by Casamayor. Will that prey on his mind? There's more to come. And physically, Corrales and Casamayor look in excellent shape. Here's Chico Tall for his... 130-pound champion. He's shown successful in the first fight. In round one, the first round, Casamayor knows what to do. Ahead, which is Corrales with aggression. And pressed with the power of Casamayor. Now there was a counter right hand by Corrales. A very big moment. Punch if he keeps doing it. Forward a little bit more. It's an urging Corrales to... He's getting punches even when he's not in good position to punch. Casamayor. He's forcing... And it's paying off, like... There's a nice right uppercut on the jump. Continues to follow Casamayor. Lead round controlled by Corrales with his jab and more combination punches. Corrales... Uh, ...effective overall as he... ...a game all the way through. Good hook and a good... Diego Corrales has thrown more combinations in this bout than he did in the first one. There's the good counter left hand. This is the best hand speed we've seen from Corrales in a long, long time. There's the hook. Slapped a little bit with those two hooks. Otherwise, they would have for Casamayor. Let's just assume... This fight has not been a factor here in the rematch. Corrales doubling up on the jab. Holding off with the right. Corrales. But you would look... Round six. Good. That's the big difference. And recall Casamayor had a big well on his forehead in the first fight on the clash of heads. Now Casamayor, that's taunting. That's desperation by Casamayor. That shows you he, he is befuddled. Right now, he does not have scored every single round for Diego Corrales. The first round was in... There, to get back into this one. And they created a strategy that involves the jab to keep what has been a superb game plan so far. Corrales trolling the fight. Diego Corrales, another good left. 130 pound division. Did hurt Corrales in the first fight. An answer for everything Casamayor has done, primarily with the great counter punch. And yeah, so far to this point, Corrales in the rematch has solved the puzzle of Joel Casamayor. Are just completely different than we see. Now there's a way that Corrales... Corrales extreme. <laughs> and certainly there was... There's been another head. In that last sequence, Casamayor... This has been a better run for Casamayor. I don't think I could... Good straight right hand. Talk about down. perception. Yes, Early in the round... Perfect. How do you feel? Casamayor... And, and Joel did have a better round. There's a good... Got in. Another left hand to the... Glove. And he's throwing it with less conviction, Steve. And when you just paw with the coach, the final minute of round nine. Casamayor doesn't need to clown around. The first fight after hurting Corrales. Did that there. This is the best round for Casamayor. And you notice, stay low and then throw the. And it was working in the last round. In Casamayor, you see, using his jab a little bit. Downs after round nine as we had a round. Morales reluctantly. I have Corrales so far has it worked. And remember, McGurk wants up oh, oh. Corrales down. A minute 15. There's another left hand, Casamayor. Casamayor sensing something here. Now, will Casamayor get so wide? Corrales throws the hook, thinking the same thing will happen as happened in the... Corrales down to the third. Now, the, here is where Casamayor landed a very good straight left hand. That was right in the first fight where his right hand was so low. Mayor, that was a two-point round. Still on my scorecard, I have a this round. Now, there's some body work. Where Casamayor came on and they laid around. In the right hand by Corrales. They hear Foxwood. He hurt Curtis Mayor with that. There's the counter right by Corrales. Countering shot. Look out now. Together in that instance. I thought that might have come from a punch. Early 
in this round. Landing the good straight right hand. That one stunned Joel Casemeyer, and he was able to fight the greatest fight, the last one. It's Corrales. Corrales missing, but Casemeyer did. Under a minute, round 12. Can you say trilogy? And that is it. So he was thinking about throwing a right. Before he could do it, he was nailed with a perfect straight left hand by Cut. With some pretty good shots, including that straight right hand that stunned Casamayor momentarily. And you see so Diego Corrales.